Welcome back to the channel folks, this week we're taking this out, this spanking new Energica Xperia Electric Tourer. We've heard it umpteen times before now, but is this the electric bike that's going to change your mind? Down in the Okay then folks, here it is, the Xperia, Energica Xperia, massive thanks to English Electric Motor Company for the loan of this. Okay, so I'll give you a bit of a rundown in a sec, let's get on the road. So to start it, turn on the ignition, pull in the front handbrake as usual with most of the Energicas and then push the button till it clicks and you get that little green bike there. And now we're ready to go. Oh! Weight-wise, doesn't feel heavy at all, actually. Very neutral weight, like most of the electric bikes I've ridden, in fact, all electric bikes I've ridden, have felt very heavy low down, you know? Like a weeble, you're pivoting right down there. This one, the way it feels, like it's between my knees, not at my feet. Oh, oh blimey. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of punch. 0.8 miles, turn right. Okay, I will, Carly, thank you. By form suspension, can you adjust that? Uh, it's not electronic, so you can't adjust it via the dash, obviously, but it looks like you could, just traditional forks. Nice dash. Now, what I will say, this is a pre-production model. This is not yet launched to the public as yet. There's a big demo day tomorrow, but this is like sneaky beaky early access. The finish isn't quite there yet for the public release. So there's little bits like some of the fairings, they don't quite fit properly. The dash will be slightly Follow the road different. the for about 2.4 miles. Okay, I will. I'll show you this, this little cubby hole here. It will be slightly different, the one that will come out to the public. It'll be better. There'll be like a weatherproof pocket to put your phone, etc., in, because there is some charging points there. There's a USP point there, and then there's another one in here as well. I'll tell you, initially, this feels really good. Very, very neutral riding position. I really like it. Feels, it feels markedly different to like the Rebelli or the SS9. Yeah, some will have different characteristics, but all essentially they all felt the same. Very heavy low down, beautiful grunt, really nice uh, handling because the weight was down so low. This feels different. This feels more like a conventional bike. Oh wow, that grunt is lovely. Now, let's get on to the topic of grunt because if you read the spec sheet on paper, you look at this and go, oh, because it's down on power on just about all other electric models. It's either 100 HP and 112 Newton meters of torque or the other way around. But either way, it's pretty low compared to certainly the other Energica models, which were sort of the figure leaders, you know. They were the industry leaders in terms of performance, out of the big hitters, out of your Harley, your Zeros and Energicas. Energicas were the ones that had the sort of showcase figures. This looks down on figures, but I tell you, it doesn't feel it in the slightest. Just roll off down to 30. Now that regen is lovely, same as before. You hardly need to touch the brakes at all. If you've got any planning, as long as something doesn't run out in front of you, you can just roll off the throttle, almost like a twist and go. Now this does have different modes for the regen. This is at B3, which is maximum regen, and you can put it all the way to B0, which is no regen. Almost like, uh, almost like an, you know, like a an inline four or something. When you got it in six, it will just roll straight on. I'm still looking for the clutch. I've ridden electric bikes for about the last four or five years, and I'm still looking for the clutch. Follow the road for about seven miles. Okay, I will, thank you. Now, I don't normally use this um, voice navigation on Cali, because I've normally got Cali out there in front of me. I don't like it interrupting me, so I just mute all that. 
this will be an experience because I get people telling me that it's too slow and it, it's too late with directions let's see this is a nice experience this is a really nice experience oh wow the performance I mean it's mind-blowing folks it really is if you've not ridden an electric bike before just do it just do it I know there's a lot of resistance to it there's lots of people over my dead body all that bollocks just ride one and see what you think electrics coming I'm not convinced that as motorcyclists that we will get forced off of our petrol bikes the way cars are going to be you know they're pretty much by the look of it just going to flood the market now with purely electric cars I don't see them doing that with bikes to be honest there's going to be a lot more of them but uh, I just I don't see that happening <clears throat> however if you're like me I used to be very um, resistant to the thought of an electric motorcycle but I tell you you have absolutely nothing to worry about just ease off that's the thing with electric it is quite hard to know what speed you're doing unless you're constantly looking at the speedo because you've got no engine though all you've got to to judge speed is obviously your eyes visually and listening to the like the air turbulence going by the wind turbulence that's my excuse officer and I am sticking to it oh look at these bends beautiful this bike this bike handles gloriously very very neutral it's really nice it just goes where you want it to go with your body wherever you point it and that torque any overtake is on any overtake oh can you hear me okay it seems really really windy to me can you move that screen I'll have to have a look when I stop if you can move that screen because that seems really windy right facts and figures more facts and figures about this bike how much does it cost well that's a criticism of electric bikes isn't it is that they are very expensive normally zeros tend to be a little bit cheaper energicas this is I think starts at 25 and a half thousand euros I got the price wrong, really sorry folks. The price quoted in euros is basically the Italian price, so that doesn't include uh, VAT, import duty, anything like that. By the time you get one of these over here in the UK, it is today 27,790 of your British pounds. However, at the moment, I think for the next couple of months at least, the government, the UK government is doing a really good deal where you can get, I think it's 135% tax write-off if you buy electric. Which means if you have your own company and if you can swing it via your accountant to buy an electric bike for your business, however you do it, then that is 135% at the moment. I mean, what's that? That's, that's like coming on, what, 35, 40 thousand pounds you can write off on your tax swings and roundabouts speak with your accountant right let's get back to the bald fat bloke whittling on in the wind okay so this was at uh, regen b3 let's try let's try regen b0 oh wow you can see there when i roll off the power there's hardly any difference at all it just sort of coasts along for me i don't like that i much prefer a lot of regen let's try and go for a happy medium then let's try uh what should we do b2 let's go b1 it's b1 okay so it's just one step up b2 b3 I much prefer B3. Okay, how are we looking up here? It's not too bad. Right, let's try and change the modes. Okay, so we've got it in economy. So you put it in economy and automatically it changes regen. It goes to B0. 
and it's much more muted in the power delivery pretty wet to be honest okay speaking of wet let's put it in wet Wet, horrendous. So you've got customs, you've got three custom modes. Uh, you, I'm not sure what you is. Take exit one onto Thetford Bypass, A11. Thetford Bypass, A11, eh? option one. How much? Well, so far, I think this voice navigation's pretty damn decent, so far. At the roundabout, take exit one. Okay, I will, thank you. Now look, I'm at 88% and it's saying I've got 102 miles range, so the range has gone up. Now that is something which um, I was told about with this, because it's a pre-production model, that sort of um, range meter there, the range predictor, it is, it's very instant. Now what I mean by that is, it's, it's not like it looks, say over the last... 20 miles you've you've ridden and works out an average it's like what are you doing right now and that's what it will tell you i'm being told that they're going to sort that and it will it will be much more of a refined system dash itself i really like the dash i really like it it's got everything that you need is all there it's very easy to see the text is quite small, In but then... 1.2 miles at the roundabout, take exit 3. But yeah, if you had it um, any bigger, you probably wouldn't be able to get all that information in there. At the roundabout, take exit 3. I am. Now this is what I mean, look. Just trundling along, what am I doing? 11 miles an hour. Okay, 3 miles an hour. It feels lovely, really balanced. I didn't even feel any impulse to put my foot down there at all. Beautiful. What's it like in a roundabout? That is lush. That's really nice. Genuinely, folks, this is good. This is really, really good. Seat height, what's the seat height again? I've forgotten. I remember reading it and thinking, oh, that looks quite high. But for me, getting on it, it doesn't feel high in the slightest. I mean, I am appreciate I am six foot three. I know that. I didn't get on it and feel like, oh, that seat's quite high. I had nothing like that. I'll put up on the screen now what the seat height is. Mirrors just seem like the standard Energica ones, they're always good. Nice and easy to uh, adjust them. Switch gear is just your typical Energica stuff. Very similar to like MV Augusta and Aprilia actually as well, I think. Same sort of buttons. Range, have I spoken about range? Well, they claim, I think it's 200 and something miles city riding. So that stops starting up to like 20, 30 miles an hour. It's combined, they claim, I think it's about 180, 160 miles. However, you could be looking at easily, easily 100 miles of realistic riding. Basically what we're doing today, now all everybody said, you'll be able to get 100 miles range, no problem at all with your normal style of riding. This thing has the fast DC charge, so you're looking again, as with the usual with the Energicas, you'll be looking at sort of a 20 minute charge should get you 20 to 80% bang. As with all electrics, it's that initial 20% and your last 20, particularly the last 10%, that is what takes forever. That bumps charging times right up. So with electrics, it's just a bit of a change of mindset, really. With petrol, you can quite happily run it down into the res till the reserve light comes on, get yourself to a petrol station, top her up to full tank, and then off you go. Electric is different. Electric, you really want to work, ideally, between that 20 and 80%. When you get below 20%, certainly below 15% in electric bikes, your performance really drops. They limit it because they need to try and pre uh, preserve that battery before it gets critical. Now I am doing an around the UK ride, sadly not on one of these. I was hoping I'd get one of these to do it, but I'm going to be doing it on the Energica Rebelli RS. 
and I'm going to test that theory for that. I'm hoping, I'm giving myself four days to get round the UK. I've done it on the little Cinus 125, took two and a half days. So I think four days is should be realistic. My aim is just to, you know, sleep when the bike recharges. But again, all that will depend on whether the uh, charging stations are open 24 hours. Particularly in sort of back and beyond some of the places I'll be going doing the route. We'll see. That's the whole point of doing something like that. I just want to see what it's like. Push the envelope. You know me, folks. I don't like being like everybody else. That's why I've got a GS. And a rocket suit. Because I like being different. <laughs> now my bum bum. My bum bum is just starting to get a little bit num num. Now my bum's not unbearable at the moment. But I'm just mentioning it because it's starting to rear its head at me. Now, where is this going? I don't want to go up the inside of this lorry because if he's turning right, he'll, he'll swing wide at the roundabout. No, he's taking that exit. Lovely job. Swaffle. It's 40 mile an hour. Slight right. Ah, it'll just mean keep on the main, won't it? All right then, seeing as the bum bum's starting to just raise its head slightly, shall we say? What's it like standing up? Oh, I'm standing up, we're going off-road. Oh, you can really feel that sculpted tank. But otherwise, it feels fine. Standing up feels no problem at all. Again, still really well balanced. Yeah, that tank, the ridges here, along there, they'd sort of dig into your your uh, inner thighs so if you're thinking of taking this off-road mm, depending on what height you are that might get a bit uncomfortable nationals oh, holy <laughs> oh beautiful effortless just totally effortless it is quite a noisy place to be though i think that's my only criticism so far now I've got about a 90 mile route plotted on Cali, Calimoto, and my aim is I want to get I want to get the charge down to about sort of 50%, hopefully. And then I'll look at finding a charge station and we'll do a quick recharge so you can see what that's like. Take the slight right. Okay. Okay, so we've got three miles of backcountry roads. Let's see what it's like on these. So it's fairly bumpy, but the bike itself still feels pretty settled. No vibration coming from the mirrors, so I've got really good vision behind. Yeah, that ride's not bad at all. It's not as plush as, like, your, your big modern adventure bikes, definitely. But it's certainly not, like, sports bike rigid or anything like that. It feels really good. Now, bearing in mind, this is an electric bike, so it's going to be heavy. Speaking of heavy, I think it's about 260 kilograms. I'll put it on the screen now. But if you think about it, a GS Adventure, that's roughly the same sort of weight. Certainly, you like your gold wings and things. I know, totally different bikes, but they are considerably heavier. So, although this is heavy, it's not like, you know, grossly obese heavy. It's not like me. I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. Turn right. Those brakes are brilliant. Has this got cruise control? Yes, it does. But again, it's set over. See, Energicas and uh, MV Augustas do this as well. I think it's the same switch gear, like I said. But if you look, there's its cruise control over there. Like, why would you not have that over on the left hand side? It's far easier to work with your left thumb. I'm in a national, aren't I? National! I think it's definitely my favourite right. ride out of the electric bikes so far that I've tried. Maybe because it's in a more sort of upright adventure bike style, cross tourer style seating position, I don't know. But it feels good. I really like it. I could have gone, why didn't I go? I'm gonna be here all day. Sorry. Oh, what a mistake I'd make. Uh. 
I could have gone then. Bored, bored, bored. I'm still bored. You're having a laugh. I think I'm trying to get out onto the M25 here. That acceleration is lovely. Like a glove. Don't even need to hit the brakes, just roll off, let the regen sort it out. Beautiful. So I think it's pretty similar to the Ducatis, to the Multistrada in its look. Obviously the bug eye headlights are different, but it's got a definite Multistrada look to it. Even in the, the sort of seating position, the sculpted tank. Very similar. Okay, so let's get up to dual carriageway motorway speeds so it showed 82 mile range just as we started I think the best one would be look at would be percentage well it was 69% I think when we started that motorway dual carriageway that's a weird sensation that I'm not sure what's going on there but it feels like the bike's doing this you know the front is uh, 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 uh. I don't know if that is physically the road surface or if that is the suspension fighting against itself like the front suspension, the rear shock maybe because of my weight oh, it seems to be smoothing out now OK, what's the cruise control going to be like? so push cruise control OK, so you have to push and hold and that is it OK, so that's the cruise control now set so you just have to apply a little bit of brake and that turns off the cruise control or just push the button. I was looking for a clutch again. <laughs> I did try to roll off, you know, like push the throttle almost into a negative. That will turn your cruise control off on petrol bikes, but it didn't do it on this one. So we just did that little bit of dual carriageway, sustained sort of 70 odd mile an hour. And it's gone from 69 to 64%. I tell you what, that's a lot better, believe it or not, even though that was only a few miles. I know with previous electric bikes, I could have watched that drop even further. The balance. About, take exit one. Okay, I will. Shh. The balance is beautiful on this. Really is nice. Reminds me a lot of how, you know how balanced an RT is, a BMW RT? But the weight on an RT feels Follow really low. Follow the road low. for about 1.3 miles. Shh. But the weight on an RT feels really low down. This this doesn't. This sort of feels at my knee kind of height. It'll just go wherever you want it to go. Effortless, effortlessly. I'm taken with this. Oh, Shiva, what did they say? Exit two. I think it was exit two. At the roundabout, take exit two. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Those brakes, Brembo brakes, are lovely. They really are nice. Got a lovely feel through the lever. It's limited to a top speed of 112. They have to limit the top speed of electric bikes because basically, if you just let them go without limiting it, the motors will, well, they'll effectively, they'll just spin themselves into destruction because they'll just keep going quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And eventually they won't be able to cope and they'll just fall apart. I'm sure there's a lot more to it, but that's what my Neanderthal brain takes from all the blurb. Definitely much windier, like a lot of wind turbulence coming off this screen. I'm feeling it right across the top of my arms there, and I've got a very noisy helmet. It doesn't seem as loud either. Energy cars have got a very, very pronounced scream. Now this isn't quiet by any stretch of the imagination. It is an absolute pleasure to ride this. It's lovely. This is a nice route. Nice mix of roads here. Good for a test ride. Well done, Cali. In 0 0.5 miles, turn right onto Browning Road. I'm really sorry, Ultimate Add-ons. I told them I would use that phone holder in all my review vids, bike review vids, and I forgot it. Sorry. 
one thing I don't like about electric you can't put it in gear leave it in gear when you stop so when you're on a hill or something like this you have to keep your foot on the rear brake the problem comes when you want to leave the bike I could be right near some chargers so let's have a look at zap map okay what have we got there Queen Street car park devices ah so the one we want out of service see that CCS out of service three minutes ago right so we can't use that what's this one here don't know what there's in that these are all people's homes now that was the one I was gonna use this one at Attleborough and that was showing fine when I stopped and did the um, beauty shots that was showing all right bugger right well that is a practical um, issue isn't it you know we can get back to English electric with what we have but you can see there I'd have to like retrace my steps if I really needed power at the moment I'd have to retrace my, my steps and you can see the next one are you there you all right the next one is at Shell petrol station back the way we came you know on that dual carriageway but you can see there both of them are out of service one three weeks ago another one five days ago that's the problem here in the UK is the infrastructure they don't look after it and I've got a feeling that's what I'm gonna find when I do this around the UK ride as well all right okay well I mean I've covered practicalities of um, of charging an electric loads of times if you want to see that check out some of the other vids I've done on electric about charging it's a really simple process and if the charges are working then there's no problem at all you know it's easy enough to do what I'll do folks is I'll show you now the recharging process so you see the charging ports there tucked away here in the on the right hand side it's got fast DC charging or you can use the standard AC charge now I've heard full charge as in 20 to 80 percent in uh, 20 minutes I thought electric bikes were good before but the Xperia really does take it forward a step or two I'm pleasantly surprised when I look down and see the state of my battery and the range whereas you know range anxiety is alive and kicking generally on electric bikes this one you know I've done 76 miles so far and we're at 45 percent left as we said it's never going to be as convenient as petrol it's just not but as an option that may or may not get forced upon us it's not bad this is not bad right then that's us almost back now we have done 85 miles so far and I'm at 39% battery with approximately 51 miles range we've got usable certainly usable 100 miles 120 miles even range that is not bad at all folks really really impressed with this bike impressed enough to make me spend 25 grand on one no no definitely not as we found out today no what a ride let's do it again soon oh okay thanks very much Callie um yeah as we've seen today the infrastructure the infrastructure is what's letting electric bikes down now it's not the bikes themselves the bikes are all right they're adequate they're fine you know it is down to the infrastructure that really needs to sort itself out but the energy Xperia itself cracking bike try one of these out contact english electric motor company i'll leave the links down below if you're uk based for a demo they have a whole dealer network out there now and if you're elsewhere in the world europe and beyond contact energica i'll leave again i'll leave links down below check them out all right massive thanks to alec and the squad here at english electric for letting me take one of these out ahead of all the oikes and uh, folks hope you've enjoyed this one keep on doing your thing get on out there whenever you can look after those that you love but most importantly most importantly live your life Woo -ha! live your life in 0 0.4 miles turn right onto garbledison road how rude see you later